I tried to come in the school. I tried to come in the back door. It was locked. I tried to come in the side door. It was locked. And then I somehow broke into the other side, and then I tried the doors to the side. It was locked too. So then I'm running through the hallways trying to find a key to gain access to the theater. So, uh, thank you. Is everyone back? No, not everyone's back, but this is close. So I've got some funny stories first, and then I'll talk to you about Mr. Bryson, someone I love. So, um, when you work with someone, you, you get some fun stories, and then I'll get to some... Uh, less fun stories. Uh, Mr. Bryson, Mr. Bryson is uh, a little bit of a rule stretcher, a non-conformist. So, you know, being a principal, you have to follow union guidelines, right? And uh, in one situation, when Mr. Bry Bryson took the dungeon over, he said, "I'm gonna." He, he decided to paint the room. Well, that's actually a union job. And so, he's halfway through painting the wall. And one of the district painters walks in, he's like this. <laughs> Literally halfway, halfway through a stroke. I wasn't gonna do anything, I'm not doing anything. So uh, a bit of a grievance he caused me. That's cool. um, Neil, the truth speaker, you know that Mr. Bryson uh, really likes to uh, <laughs> tell the truth. Uh, and so before my time, the administrative team uh, gave a presentation to the grade 12s and it wasn't very well done. Oh, no. He walked into the administrative office, sat them down and said, you know, if I was to grade you, I'm going to give you an F. So he gave the principals and vice principals an F. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, he's a bit of a goofy kid. Uh, never ceased to amaze me how many times he would make me laugh by stopping by my office, by telling some sort of a juvenile joke or story. He's also an imitator. I don't know if you know that, but he's really good. And his, <laughs> his impression of Miss Epic is legendary. And so, <laughs> sometimes you walk by my office with that accent, oh, Mr. Bolin, <laughs> a lovely day, isn't it? And anyway, so that was, uh, that was beautiful. Uh, and then he makes some gaffes, right? Like Neil really can make a gaffe. Um, apparently, because I have spies now, my daughter Katrina said that um, during a lockdown, an official lockdown, Mr. Bryson put on a bunny mask and pretended to come at the kids with a plastic knife. Except in this case, it was real. A real lockdown, I mean, not the knife. And so he's beating on the door, let me in, let me in, this is real, this is real. So cool. That is Neil Bryson in a nutshell. So, I guess on a more serious note, you know, one of the things I've had a chance to do though is to, to take, take a look the last little while and see how you affect students. And this is what my kids say. Katrina says, Mr. Bryson is my sunshine that takes any doubt I have in myself and he's everything I strive to be as an actor and a person. I hope to one day inspire as many people as he has. It's a hard goal to achieve because of the man he is and how many people love him. I love him. He also taught me to never stop being a kid. Tiana said, well, I never had him as a teacher, but sometimes the best teachers are the ones you actually never had in the classroom. He would just stop me in the hallway, say hi to me, made me feel special, seemed happy, and loved his work at school. And Rachel said, Mr. Bryson inspires me to be more confident. He's a Langley Fine Arts resident elf, and I love him. So I wrote this on behalf of you. And it's to all the teachers, many of the teachers that I worked with here. They are as varied as the crayons in a Crayola box. Some red, some green, some blue, some short, some tall, some dramatic, and some Sri Lankan. <laughs> Think about the impact that teachers have had on your life. They are talked about, joked at, discussed at the dinner table, and so often make the biggest impact on our lives. Teachers really are a funny bunch. They spend countless hours marking papers, coaching teams, teaching kids music, directing plays, contacting parents, preparing lessons late into the evening, and ultimately falling asleep on their marks book, only to wake up and do it all over again. When we think about the importance of being a teacher, think about this. Teachers are the reasons medical advances are made, Buildings are constructed, music is created, races are won, and airplanes fly. Other than our parents, 
Teachers show us how to be compassionate, generous, kind, and forgiving. They are as likely to slip warm mittens onto the hands of a child without them as they are to work with a child after school to teach them how to read. Teachers really do leave a legacy. Neil, the best compliment I can give you is that you're a teacher. While we're here to celebrate your accomplishments as an educator, I think back to the first time I saw your work on this stage. I was invited by a colleague and a friend from Abbotsford to watch Langley Fine Arts School's Macbeth. It was the finest dramatic high school performance I've ever seen. And the director, Neil Bryson. That's why I wanted a podium. <laughs> And as fate would have it, I became the principal at Langley Fine Arts School three years later, and so began my association with this witty, talented savant who could simultaneously talk world politics, have a creative discussion about acting and characterization, and then become a goofy, immature adolescent. As a principal who was a little out of the box, who was a match made in heaven, or was it hell? I don't know. <laughs> I am struck. I'm going to drop this. I'm struck by the fact that everything you commit to, you take on with an incredible zeal. Your work as a teacher was exceptional. Your passion for Langley Fine Arts School is somewhat legendary. But perhaps your most important legacy to the school was your passion for humanitarianism. Project Kenya Sister Schools and the hundreds of thousands of dollars raised will ensure that students across our globe will contribute to our global village. More importantly, you've impacted thousands of students to understand that they need to think beyond themselves on our planet. When I think about life, I constantly wonder what legacy will I leave? Neil, look around the room for a second. Your father, husband, brother, uncle, son, friend, colleague, philanthropist, and a teacher who's made a difference in the lives of many. We should all be so lucky. On behalf of my family, personally, and I think for many of the teachers in the, world, in the room, thank you for supporting principals, teachers, parents, and most importantly for the students. Wishes to you for a safe and happy retirement, brother.